Jordan Gonzalez here with the Gonzalez Racing Team. Welcome to another race here at Homestead, Miami. Driving the P7 Project 7 EPCI GRT Max 238 uh, paint scheme. If I can ever get my controls here correct. Starting back here in, what's that, 8th position? Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. I'm starting in 10th position. Looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, people are just lined up weird here. But they're not qualified too well. And the race is off. See second position sliding up a little bit, battling. And they get a good momentum boost here. Or good momentum off of the corner there. So able to take the next position. Now in sixth position. I have to count it out. Truck behind me instead of challenging just gives me a boost. Bumping me there a little bit. Low one down our motors. Caution is out. Caution is out. Let's see if we can see what happened here. Ah, it happened behind us even further. Somebody's blinking. And that was huge net code. This guy just has really bad net connection and somehow. Yeah. <laughs> That's that kind of stinks for him. That's why when people com start complaining of your net code, your blinking things, that's why they ask you to just pull off the track, man, because stuff like that will happen. Nowhere even hap not even close to the guy, but the server just freaked out, caused the 17 to get into the wall and just ruin his race. Their second lap uh, is just tough. That's, that's just tough. So the one truck, Leighton in uh, the first position. And sorry for those beeps, that is my Discord app. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that real quick before it makes any more noise. I apologize for that. Supposed to have that done before I did the video. Apologies again. All right, so the leader is coming down. He is going to pit even after. Oh, he decides not to pit. Nobody was following him, so he decides. Nope, I'm not going to give up my position here. Nobody's pitting, so let well one couple trucks back there. One to go till green. We're on it's gonna be forty laps to go. And we're off. I've got fifth position right now. You see that I have a little bit of a run on the guys in front of me, but I don't push the issue. Ooh, wanted to take him free wide. I looked, but backed out of it. Looks like the truck in front of me got a little bit of the wall. And if you're just tuning in again, uh, I'm here in the so not the I'm, I'm watching the leader right here so you can see everything that's going on I'm the next white truck in my I'm now in fourth position take a little bit of a high line through the corner not sure if that was intended things are evening it out now let's go ahead and speed it along oh just as I was gonna speed it up interesting things start happening 
So back here we have a battle between the 22 and the 4. The 22 kind of lost some momentum coming out of 2. Goes up to try to block the 4. 4 still presses the issue, comes on the inside. 22 does not want to give it up. Causes a rather large wreck collecting people as they drive by. And let's watch from the 4's perspective. Four could have backed out to save the whole thing, but uh, in real life you would have spotters calling stuff like that. When you're relying on the computer spotter, that's not, you know, you can't really make moves like that. But if you were one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about five trucks involved in that. Take a look from the 12's perspective. He sees the wreck happening. He sees the wreck happening. He doesn't slow down. He, I guess either he wasn't paying attention or it's just really too fast for his reflexes. So. He's definitely slow down, slow down. Yeah, even he should have been able to at least slow down a little bit. Um, don't know if that would have prevented the wreck from happening, but, uh, Tries to split them here in the middle, and gets nailed by the 22. That's unfortunate. Meanwhile, back to our leaders. So that puts us on lap 8 of 45. And you see the leaders are now coming down and pitting. And myself, way out there on the track still, I am not pitting. I'm there in the P7 pickup truck. Here in the one pickup truck. They are pitting. Ooh, and a little bit of a, a crunch up there. Now, only because I'm remembering this uh, off the top of my head, take a look at this here. The leader and the second place truck there. And I say second place because uh, that's where they were, I guess, when the caution came off. They are ahead of the pace car when they cross that yellow line. And even though the pace car is in front of them here, at the cone. The pace car is in front of them there, right? But because that is not the case right here. Let's... It's kind of questionable for the seven. It looks to me like the pace car is actually there before him. But definitely not for the one truck. But because of that, the one gets a penalty. And he will be basically taken out of competition because of that black flag. It's going to put him a lap down. It's a flag that you have to serve during green flag uh, racing. So, and that's why you do not get ahead of the leader. The, uh, sorry, the, the uh, do not get ahead of the pace car. Let's take a look at the race off of pit road. The three truck coming out first, followed by the one, the eight. The seven's kind of going a little slow there. Now the six, 18, 15, and 19. Meanwhile, I stayed out. 
so did. Whoops. So did the two of Eddie Kerner. And this definitely plays to my advantage. Why? Well, you'll see. But in a nutshell, I've already, by this time of, uh, of my racing this track, I've already learned how well I'm saving tires while keeping my speed. It's not optimum. There are still ways to, if on a really long green flag run, there's still ways for other people to have saved more tires and, and take the lead from me. But on short runs, they got no chance. So knowing come up what my limit is here and kind of expecting more cautions and I have faith in myself but I'm also expecting the two car which happens to have double the I rating now that I'm looking at it the two trucks should say double the I rating as not being able to save as much tire as myself now having that much I rating now that I'm thinking about it he should know whether he does or doesn't is a whole other story but having that much I rating you should expect to know how to save tires and be fast for the for the you know the duration of the race but he's not going to and he's going to do something exactly what I wanted what is that he's going to clog up the racing field and allow me to get away Pace truck is off. Ish. And you see the two pretty much knew what I was going to do, so he took off and was able to maintain position without giving up a lot of uh, length between the uh, uh, distance, should say. And that gives us the ability to put distance between us and the pack behind us. you see back there two trucks pitting that's because they're the ones who got the black flag as I was explaining earlier you can see I'm starting to pull away from the two truck right now You can hear the engines now. The truck's coming off of pit road. These are the gentlemen who served their penalties. There's one. And here's the other. These are the gentlemen who were leading the race earlier. So now, while they... Oh! A little bit of contact back there, but they save it. No caution. No caution. So this here should be a battle for the lead. A race for the lead, I should say but it's not because they get past the pace car you see the gap of put between myself and the two cup truck back there and that's what I was pretty much hoping for I was, I was definitely hoping that I had a much faster driving style saving tires and that they would fight for position and you can see that they're doing that right now and it really just slows them down so that is definitely what I wanted to see happen meanwhile this one truck he is a lap down and really of no consequence to me so in my mind my strategy if he wants to challenge me fine but for now I'm just racing I'm not even worried about him I do want to race him in the sense that I get to learn more about his driving style and maybe something I can learn to get better and faster uh, but really again he's completely inconsequential no point in racing him hard, too hard to waste my equipment. We will have lap traffic coming up. Well, let's go ahead and skip to a little bit more interesting.
uh, parts of the race. Everyone else is way back there, pretty much out of view. You see you do have a new person in second place. We have a Matt Stratford. But he hasn't quite broken away from the field, so he's still having to deal with protecting his position. And he's not gaining any on myself or the one of uh, Light, Lighten, Layton. I can't, I don't remember his pronunciation. So here we're catching some lap traffic. And he goes ahead and stays low for me. Appreciate him doing that. Say, so why is he even racing? Well, it allows him to earn some safety rating, putting in some good laps, which helps reduce the impact of what happened to him earlier. really the primary reason safety rating I see the one truck he's starting to get a little bit of momentum there you see I'm not really giving him any line or any position so I am you know see what he can do what I can do here the field is definitely basically a whole segment behind us this is a mile and a half track, so figure half half a mile, three quarters of a mile behind us. We have more lap traffic eventually, but they're still far enough ahead of us. Speed it up. And you can see the one is definitely starting to race me a little bit. He has intentions of trying to pass me. He's able to keep it along the white line and maintain speed, well, sort of. You see him back, backing up a little bit there. You see he kind of gains it back there in three and four. up on that 14 truck again. And let's take a look here. Oh, it's a different truck. But it is 14. I thought the other guy was 14. So that, that kind of messed me up. You see I had to get out of the gas right there. I don't know if you heard it there. Keep from hitting the wall. That allows the one truck to come up and challenge for position. And I basically just get out of it. I'm not going to race him for it. He's fast enough to hang with me. So, and he is a, what do you call it, a lapper. So I'm not really interested in losing a whole lot of time. I, I guess I do put up a little bit of a, a race to see if I can put him back behind me really kind of testing out that high line and seeing how well I can use it in the event I do need it. But he's able to carry a lot more speed and stay low in the 3 and 4. Slides up. I do a crossover maneuver. But now that puts him on the high side and gives him the advantage. You see right there, I got out of the, got out of it way early, basically giving up the position. Now it's not an actual position, but just giving him the track. Because again, I really did not want to have a, a battle with a lapper be what causes the people behind me catching me. Now, if you notice, we knew we now have a new second place driver named Lupe Gonzalez. This gentleman is a long haul driver. 
he can save tires. We have 13 laps to go here. And I'm going to take us to Lupe's position so you can see. It'll, it'll make more sense from this position. You start seeing how much bigger I get in his window, quote unquote window. Um, whoops, wrong button. He does start to gain on me. He definitely has a way of saving tires for the long haul, which allows him to be faster. And I tried analyzing it, and it's not all that different than myself. So I don't know if I just wasted tires somewhere, or just because I stayed out. and speed it up with 11 laps to go. And that's again myself and a lapper up there and I'm not trying to put too much of a race on f with him. But if you're looking at the scoring, again I don't really trust it verbatim, but you can definitely see he's gained on me. Where they were four seconds or further back, he's brought it down below three seconds. And you see way up there, I am starting to race the, the truck again, the, the lapper, uh, because I get a little nervous, like, look, are you slowing me down? Is this why he's catching me? Get get me out of your, let's get out of your, get out of my way kind of thing. And I do think that was the issue, but where the tires were at that point, there's no way I was able to pass him because he had the preferred line and he, and he wasn't going to get it, he wasn't going to give it up because if there was a caution, then that means he'd stay on the lead lap and uh, have a chance of winning, so... And I'm fine with him racing me like that. I don't. I, I I would race the leader the same way. So I have no problem with that. Not sure why I pause it, but you can start. You can see we're getting a little bit bigger. You know, we're not we're not just driving off into the sunset. Oh, you, you know, look at that pit run. You can see it right there. I haven't pitted this entire race. Lupe pitted. Uh, was that? He's on. He has 33 laps right now, so he's at 34. So he's got uh, six, seven, eight lap fresher tires than I do. And that would explain. I didn't realize that. That's, that's pretty cool. I uh, never noticed that before. So that would explain why he's gaining, and he's gaining pretty quick. Like, if this was a, a five lap longer race, I think he would have challenged me for the win, if not taken it. So look here. We have three to go. And again, this is a second place vehicle, so he's the one that would be challenging me. And up there is just me and the lapper, so. And I remember making sure I just keep my marks here. I didn't want to get loose, didn't want to race the lapper too hard. I did not want to give it up. With one lap to go. I was using up my buffer, saying, you know what? I'll give him some track to make sure I stay on the track. So I did not want to wreck myself out. That's how close it could have been. About five more laps, I think I would have lost it. And that's a checker. Brought the P Project P7, you can see I GRTX 238 pickup truck to victory lane a second time. <clears throat> and I failed to mention this in the other video, but the first time I ran this paint scheme on this track, 
I won. So I'm really attached to this paint scheme for multiple reasons, obviously for the what the school club is and what it represents and what they're trying to do. And also just because, you know, my first time running it brought it straight to victory lane. So it was pretty sweet. But thanks for joining us. This is Jorge Gonzalez from Gonzalez Racing Team. God bless. Hey everybody, Jordan here and I want to thank you for tuning in and watching the stream here today. I have a short little video to show you how you can support the Gonzalez Racing Team. Right after that, we'll come back to our regular scheduled programming and again, I just want to thank you for stopping in. God bless.